Why was he concerned about animals? Well, Lewis had a very early love affair with animals, actually. Um, they always had animals in their home in Ireland. Um, in his home outside of Oxford University at the Kilns, they always kept many animals. They had uh, dogs and cats, and Lewis even wrote to a child once, my neighbors trap the mice in their house, but I feed mine. He always had this great love of animals. When he was a child, he started writing uh, books, really, as a child, and he would illustrate them. And almost all of his books were about talking animals. Of course, this childhood love of animals would emerge in his adult life to where he created this world called Narnia, and it is a world where the animals are rational and they think, and they have lives like we human beings do, and it is a world that needs to be redeemed like our world does, and so the Redeemer comes in the form of the King of Beasts, Aslan, the Great Lion. So Lewis always had this love affair with animals. But as I had mentioned earlier, he became an atheist due to pain in his life. So one of the great academic exercises for him is to try to understand how we get over this barrier of God's good and all-powerful, why does evil exist in the universe? And one of the conundrums for him was what about animal pain? What about the sufferings of animals? And this also intrigued him, and as a result of that, he, he became uh, an anti-vivisectionist. He published a brilliant essay on that issue um, in his book, The Problem of Pain, which is his first book of propositional apologetics and a book that received great popular appeal. He has a whole section in there on animal pain, and he also published another essay on animal pain and is addressing it often in his letters as well. Lewis refers to many uh, passages of scripture. Um, of course, there are passages in the law about treatment of your animals and so on. And you've got those New Testament passages about um, God taking care of the birds, being aware of the birds, and also um, there are passages that would relate to um, what he saw relative to the ox, don't muzzle the ox while it's threshing and so on. We have this responsibility. But Lewis sees the general tenor of scripture as well, that as human beings, um, uh, in some senses, lords of creation, in a way, under, under supervisors, under God of creation. There's a creation care concern that Lewis has that comes through very strongly. And, and also, um, I think Lewis saw this with creation itself, general revelation of God. Creation implies intention. That if God makes us, then he makes us with a purpose. And one of those great purposes is that we would take care of the world that's before us and be concerned for the animals. And Lewis is very explicit about that.